Question number 12 is an application problem involving compound interest. Ravindra's parents invested $4,000 in an account when he was born. The account pays interest at 6% per annum compounded quarterly. How much money will be in the account on Ravindra's 18th birthday? So that's a very interesting question. You can copy the question, pause the video, answer it and then look into my suggestions. Now compound interest formula is that the amount A is equals to principal amount times 1 plus interest rate over compounding times. So that's the formula, right? In our question, we are given P, which is $4,000, right? Interest rate. We are given 6% compounded quarterly. That means 6% per annum compounded quarterly. So we have to find one-fourth of 6%, which will be for each compounding period. So I will be equals to 6% is 6 over 100, that is 6%. Compounded quarterly means divided by 4, right? So let's calculate this value, which is 6 divided by 400. So 6 divided by 400 is equals to 3 over 200, which is 0 0.015. A number of compounding periods. 18th birthday means in 18th birthday interest paid will be compounded 18 times 4, right? So th those are the number of compounding periods. So it will be 18 times 4, which is equals to 18 times 4 equals to 72. So n is 72. We know all these values. When we substitute these, we can always find the maturity amount or the amount which will be available on 18th birthday, right? So we say A equals to 4000 initial amount invested times 1 plus 0 0.015 to the power of 72, right? So let's use calculator to calculate this answer which is 4000 within brackets 1. 015 bracket close exponent 72 equals to 11684.63. It's a good idea to write the answer rounded to two decimal places whenever we're talking about amounts, right? So the answer will be $11,684. $0.63. Cents. So that is how we are going to solve it. Thank you.